Watch out for all natural caprice on. Get Selsen Power. Power and Light Show, only on YouTube. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a extremely messy garage for another 2.5 video today. Yesterday, I kind of spent uh, my afternoon tearing down the 2.0. I didn't want to film anything on it because I've already done a video of tearing down a 2.0 and this is basically all I'm going to keep it to. I am going to take the oil pan off still because I want to keep that. I've got basically all this stuff here, um, it's like the fuel rail, the intake manifold runner. All this is stuff that can be used for a, another 2.5 engine. If you didn't want to swap parts over from your stock engine, you could use most of these. Uh, and I did end up buying most of these for the new engine, so I decided to keep everything. I even kept the water pump just, you know, just in case. Another thing that I did that I didn't film is I got the uh, timing cover notched. So as you can see, it's got enough clearance now. Just ground it down quite a bit and it's uh, looking good. Shouldn't make contact or anything like that. Essentially what we're going to do today Let's just see how far we can get on this engine. I think it's gonna come off the stand today. It's, I mean, it's definitely coming off the stand today. I think I'm gonna put it onto the subframe. And depending on how things go as well, I think I'm gonna try to get the engine maybe back in the car. Um, depending on how hot it gets and how tired I get. I don't have too much of a plan today, but I just want to start getting things done. Um, just working every weekend trying to get things done, even during the week, so. We're just gonna see how far we get today. So let's cue the music and jump to work. Okay, so check this out. Guys, this is a huge moment for me. The engine, the 2.5 engine is on the subframe and it's all bolted down with the AWR engine mounts. Everything's tight and I'm pretty sure a header's gonna fit. It's gonna be really, really close, but as long as it's not touching, I mean, everything bolted up, the header shouldn't really be moving at all, so with these motor mounts too, they're solid in place, so should be fine there, but seriously, this has been such a long time coming. The engine's off the engine stand, and it's on our subframe. We're so close. I'm already super sweaty. It's just been like slow progress today. I had to take the header off to get it on the stand because the header was touching my engine lift, um, so I gotta put that back on, but it's done. It's on the, the subframe, and the video's not any here because next we got to put on the, uh, the pressure plate, clutch, flywheel, all that stuff. And I'm gonna try to put the transmission on, get the engine sorted with all the stuff that's on the ground, put that back on. I think we might try to put the engine into, in this video. So stick around, let's see where we get.
All right, not sure when my camera's memory card ran out, but we got the throw out bearing in. So this is on, it's all good to go, nice and smooth. This one, definitely old, shakes a little bit. It's not as tight as the new one, so that should be, feel a lot better. Also got the clutch all on, that looks good there. Everything got aligned, it's all torqued down to spec and everything. So now we should be able to throw the transmission on. Okay, so this was an absolute bitch and a half, but transmission is on, it's sitting flush. I gotta put all the bolts in, but this is, this is hard to do by yourself, especially if it's your first time. I'm sure some of you guys got it first try or whatever, but not me, but I got it on. Just a lot of adjusting. I think I was like one tooth off every so often. I had to adjust the teeth and the, the shaft, but we got it. So I'm gonna tighten all the bolts down and then we'll see about getting it under the car and putting back in. Everything is bolted down tight so I think we're good to go to try to put it in so I don't know if I'm gonna use the table thing I got this method pretty set up to where I can roll it underneath use my jack stand to hold the trans up and that way I can use my jack stand to lift it by the trans to kind of rotate it depending on how low the car is in the front or the rear so that's kind of my plan of attack currently and I think we're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna get the engine underneath the car and then we'll jump back to that because you guys have already seen me taking it out. So I'm gonna put the engine underneath, see what happens. All right guys, I'm sure by the look on my face and the amount of sweat coming off, you'll have known that we got the engine in. So I didn't show it, just, I mean, it was, I spent a good amount of time getting it perfect aligned and then tightening bolts. I, there really wasn't much to see, so you guys didn't miss much. You saw it come out, so just uh, reverse that and went back in the same way. So as you can see right here, we got the engine in. Everything's aligned, everything is tightened down. All of the subframe bolts and everything right around here, down under here, all tightened down, good to go. Everything fits. You can see right there our header and everything is very very tight tight fit but it doesn't hit or anything we got the drive shaft put back in so that is all good there we have a 2.5 now in the nc miata so while i would love to keep going it is a sunday evening and i've just got to pack it in for the night i am beat i'm tired i've been working on this since like 10 30 this morning it was a successful day I uh, did a lot more than I thought I would. I really was hoping I would at least get the transmission on, but I got the whole engine in the car. So that's uh, that's thumbs up in my book. So stay tuned. I think next week we're going to get all of the other parts that aren't on yet buttoned up and maybe we'll see about starting it. I need to get oil, transmission fluid. Um, I can start it without a tune, but I'll have to get that as well. Bleed the power steering, uh, bleed the clutch. A lot to do still, but we're working our way through. We're getting there closer than ever. We're on the home stretch now. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.